happy Tuesday, my lovelies. My name is Courtney J, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. We are starting the vlog off on this beautiful, beautiful day. It feels great. It's actually not as cold in Georgia as it's been. It feels mad good. I am getting my hair done today, so we are starting the vlog off with me getting my hair done. I feel so much better. Prior to me leaving my house today, I am finishing up last week's vlog so by the time you guys are watching this that one is already up duh so make sure that you go ahead and watch that video xmas was very interesting i was ill for like two three days couldn't really eat couldn't really talk very congested so i'm feeling way better the mucus is coming out of my system tmi maybe key as you guys know my fave she has a suite now over here I have no clue actually where exactly it is though I'm about to call her and see LMAO hey so I'm at 1810 I'm at the Culper security services this is what I see uh, where do I go okay okay cool this is the last week of 2022 this was the fastest year ever. I can't believe that my birthday is literally almost here. Well, my born day. I'm a Gemini, born day is June 8th. Literally in six months, about to be five months. I literally just turned 21, now I'm about to be 22. And I just wanna say, every year, I'm in a totally different place. <laughs> like every time, I'm just in a totally different place, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially just the whole nine <laughs> so I'm very appreciative so far of what year 21 not year 21 but six months of being 21 and year of what 2022 has taught me has brought me what attracted to me this year thus far self-awareness me being more confident and putting my foot down onto Courtney's needs and Courtney's wants and what makes sense to Courtney things that Courtney is detaching from as well and just ultimately 100% just doing what's 100% best for her in every single element make sure if you haven't watched my other vlogs watch them I would love if you did like comment and subscribe for more videos from your fave youtuber I will see you guys in the suite YouTube, don't copyright me. Ooh. It's the snacks. No, Millie, you um. Let's say hi, Key. Hi, Key got a sweet. Yeah, move it over. So cute. Over there is where the wash things are. The wash bowls, whatever they call it. Yeah. <laughs> wash room, wash, wash something. Room. Yeah. So yeah, creations of Key, right? Yeah. Creations of Key with a K. Starting January, she's gonna be washing people's heads and things. So we're trying to figure out. Well, she already gave me two colors for my next wig. So you guys comment below what color I should try next. You said like a red or auburn like an brown. Auburn brown color, yeah. That'd be cute. I think that would be cute too. I'm into color now. Where it's like the only time my hair will probably be dark is if I have my like real hair out. But as far as wigs, I just want it to be some type of so color. So what are doing today? Uh, doing outward curls today and now we're at the studio give y'all a sneak peek at what I'm wearing tonight you gotta follow me on Instagram to see the full fit whenever the video drops <laughs> hey you guys class is over I didn't record but it was giving BB taught us her piece from the showcase from two months ago September September. How far was September? I don't know. <laughs> you, you see how she acts perfectly fine when she doesn't know? I maybe got one more one more time. Everybody say hi. Hi. Wesley. No. You lost your privileges. But I got your cartwheel. 
their birthday. Happy Friday. Back with the matcha frap. <laughs> Whoever did my order today at Starbucks really played in my face. So you guys know how I have an obsession with whipped cream. So I asked for extra whipped cream like I normally do. And whoever um, I talked to on the phone, she was one of those, she was giving one of those workers that's like, we can't do it, but we can do it, but you gotta do it like this in order for us to do it and da 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 And I'm just like, oh, you gotta figure it out. Like, <laughs> I'm like, they've done it before and there was no conversations about it, so... They gave me the extra whipped cream in, an, like, in another cup. <laughs> I was like, LOL. It's very much early. Whenever I wake up or something, and I don't desire to distract myself with social media, I just read instead. You guys know what came in the mail last week, and I'm almost done with it. I have um, probably, like, 40 pages left. I just want to say, I already told my dance family this a few members of my dance family before we left the studio last night i'm so freaking appreciative to have my dance family it's so funny because they were like where did you come from it's like you just came out of nowhere and ever since you've just been in class every single week for like months now where did you come from <laughs> and I'm like, my story behind Hill's choreography, you guys have met Maya, um, Maya, she has the locks, and I did the music video with her, she was the other girl that I danced with. So basically, back in 2020, this guy I was following at the time, he posted her on his page, and she was doing choreography, and I was like, oh my god, I want to get into it, because I've always loved watching choreography videos. I actually started watching hip-hop dance videos on YouTube, like Wildebeest, Matt Stefanina, Dana, Alexa, those people. Yeah, I even, ooh, if you know, then you know the Upgrade You choreography by Wildebeest, I think is his choreography or whoever. The one that just blew up, like, years ago. Like, middle school, high school for me, whichever those years were in the 2010s era. Anyways, I saw that and I just started watching others and then Hill's choreography ended up getting popular. So it was something that I always desired to do. And then I also was into poll videos as well in 2020. So who's calling? I don't know. This is from Augusta, a scammer. I reached out to her. She said she was in Atlanta and stuff like that. So what I did... I ended up attracting, you know, someone to get me to Atlanta. My guy, Bestie, he drove me to Augusta. And then the person that I attracted to take me to Atlanta from Augusta met him. Um, which I pray he's doing well still. Stayed with one of my friends. And that whole entire week of me being out there. November of 2020 and then I started my poll which is when I had my first poll class with stacks which if you follow me on Instagram around that time then you were OG for real for real <laughs> and I also did my first hills class with Kanisha I Kanisha Kanisha visuals on Instagram and that's where I met Maya and that's where it started and then after that I did two of Jen's classes in 2021 when I was still in Atlanta before I ended up moving to Charlotte, which is when I started the stripper vlogs and stuff like that. So if you were around during that time, then you already know the timeline of that and stuff like that. And then when I moved to Charlotte, I strictly was in survival mode. I just was focusing on my apartment and just getting by in my first apartment, which I'm proud of myself for getting by in my first apartment. Which transparency moment, I didn't even furnish my first apartment. It never felt like home to me. I didn't allow it to feel like a home. It's, it's just the building, but you make it a home. And it doesn't feel like it to me. It was more so I have this place, so I'm not staying with somebody else anymore. And I could just have something that's mine 
temporarily until I have to leave again. My focus in Charlotte was less on dance training and more on surviving, getting used to being a stripper, learning the industry, figuring out my way, and just going through what I went through in 2021 that I was supposed to go through, you know. And then I started taking a few classes towards the end of 2021, I believe. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know Courtney Samuels. I took two classes with her. And then at Fusion Force in Charlotte, if you do live in Charlotte and want to get into dance, Fusion Force and NC District are dance studios in Charlotte. Some say that the dance scene in Charlotte isn't really big. I personally think that it's busier for me in Atlanta than it is in Charlotte for sure. But if I wanted to commit myself to going to those studios while I wasn't sure, then I really could have. But again, my focus was on survival mode, so I wasn't focused on doing anything outside of survival mode and still putting out videos. But then I stopped putting out videos because I was in survival mode and I was like, I don't desire to keep putting out the same type of content. Versus now, it's like... I'm doing weekly vlogs, which is what I have going on in the week. Yes, my schedule is repetitive, but it's still different. There's still different things. You're seeing people in my life, and it's just me. It's just Courtney J. Casually me. I took a Kenamika class. I took a class from that girl Charlotte. She was in Mulatto's Big Energy music video, I believe. Fortunately, a lot of the choreographers that teach hills and stuff, they're there are women that have already like danced in the industry you know so i i think that's pretty amazing and cool it's like deja carter i took her class a few, weeks with, a few weeks ago with bb and if you know deja carter then you know deja carter she was helping book girls for the millennium tour which courtney was actually a part of and my friend shantae that i met at vixens full circle moving back to atlanta back in july I told myself that I was committing myself to my training consistently. And everything happens for a reason. You know, me being where I'm living at, I've never lived in this area before. I used to live in Buckhead. Things just always play out perfectly in my life, no matter how emotional it may be at first, or no matter what I may go through, where I'm at. All of it is for my growth and transformation. So being at Vixen Studios, it being closer to my house. I wasn't even aware that I was gonna be at Vixens when I came out here. I didn't know that there was even studios over in this area until I came out here. And I was like, well, there's this, there's this, and this, this. And then I was like, wow, this is closer to my house. And then I started coming. So with me having my dance family, with me having my film family, with me just having my friends from school or just my internet friends. I have friends in different realms, different aspects, right? So it means a lot to me that I have my tribes. I have people that I'm friends with in different elements. I have people that I genuinely click with that I'm not trauma bonding with. And that comes with awareness where it's like your friends, right? It's like, am my friends or attached to this person because of a trauma bond? Because we ha we share traumas or blah, blah, blah. Like, you know how you connect with people through traumas or connect with people through like gossiping or whatever? I actually connect with people from a healthy place in my life, you know? Yeah, we can all share similar stories, but it feels really good when you're able to connect with people from a healthy place and not just from, oh, I went through BS, you went through BS, let's be friends. Like, no, it's like we're both, you know, we have what we went through in life, but that's not why we're connected. We're connected because it's healthy. We share similar interests and da 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 da. So, overall, I'm just really, really, really appreciative that I get to enter 2023 with my tribes from a healthy place and just getting to learn people and know new people from a healthy place within myself and it feels freaking awesome here that was my set talk of the day <laughs> let's see if I'm gonna be able to do what, what Key did and do the outward flip 
Friday, Saturday. I actually figured it out. <laughs> it turned out so pretty. Water? Water. Everybody needs water. Thank you. Oh, and a mento. Happy Saturday, you guys. We're gonna leave last night. Go to last night. Last night was not busy for me personally. We're gonna try again today. I meditated, recentered myself. This is actually my first time wearing this outfit to the club. It is probably a little bit close to 8 o'clock, maybe, I don't know. But to, so far, it's been giving. We're doing it. <laughs> we're doing freaking great. I am currently finishing up doing dances because we're going up to, you know, people. Plus, our regulars are here. Yay. House mom got food for everybody today. I finally have the stage set. I was supposed to have two other girls with me, but I was by myself, as usual. But this time, people actually decided to show the skinny one the love. Tonight was way better. I got exactly what I needed to pay this. <laughs> I know I wasn't gonna do it though. New Year just is done with it. I was with BK, BK got so rough. Hey girl! She's big so MJ! Oh, no. I am so proud of myself. What I said I was going to do tonight, I did it. I literally went up to a lot of people and there were way more receptive customers tonight. This always happens to me, but this girl um, got jealous while I was dancing for her guy. Keep in mind, they asked me to dance for them first. Because the guy was like, hey, can you dance for us? I was like, yeah, I can dance for you. And then she started to get jealous or whatever. And then when I would talk to him in the midst of me dancing for him or whatever, she would come about the blue. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. And then he would just look at her and be like, all she, all she asked was where we were from. She was like, I heard that. And then I was like, he said you were from Ohio. Like, we're not talking about you in a bad way. Like, he said you're from Ohio. Well, Rhode Island. He said you're from Rhode Island. And then she was like, it's not you, it's not you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, he had a whole extra stack of $100 left that he was going to finish throwing on me. But she kept telling him to, like, hurry up and stuff like that. And I'm just like, not you're entering 2023 on that type of energy. He was like, I am so, 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 so sorry. So, 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 so sorry. And I was just like... This will not be the first time I've dealt with a woman getting upset with me. I didn't even do anything. Or getting upset in general with the guy just being jealous. It's funny at this point. It's funny. I don't take it personal at all. Where did I come from? Can you give me change? Oh, yeah. I was already coming from. Happy 23, my lovelies. If you have been a subscriber of mine over the past two years, I freaking love you, and I love all my new people too. And I believe the new year starts in the spring, but for the sake of the calendar year, happy 2023 to everybody. These are my January affirmations, as you guys know, or if you didn't know, if you're new here, every month I write down affirmations on my whiteboard. So the theme for January is... I have power and control to get out of cycles, habits, and patterns I don't desire to be in anymore. And that stems from me realizing that I've kept myself in this cycle the past six months. And I realize now that it's time to just get out of it. I know what I deserve. I know what I 
desire for myself as far as I know why I want these things because of what it brings to me, which I can already embody the emotions and the feeling that certain things will bring to me. Therefore, me embodying that energy, it'll start to reflect in my reality because manifestation is simply just a reflection of what you are embodying internally. And I have the mentality that no matter what we ask for or even not ask for we're gonna still attract it like if you really sit and reflect on your life when has there ever been a moment in time no matter how long it took for you to attract something no matter what you wanted you end up getting it like when I was younger I always wanted to live with my sister and it took until 2017 2018 when I finally got the chance to live with my sister but it happened so it manifested right and I think that when you are growing in consciousness as well, I do believe that things start to happen more rapidly. And my horoscopes have also been very much accurate as well on Twitter and on Instagram. For my sign, Cancers, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgos, if you're one of those, you're in your winning season. This new year marks the beginning of a season in which you're finding yourself always winning. No longer are you sacrificing what you want to get something else you want. You're winning it all. The next thing we have is I no longer feel guilt for not internalizing others' energy. Now, this is a big one for us people that grew up parent-pleasing, which led to people-pleasing in general. And then we dealt with people that gaslighted, which basically means people that just made you feel like what you were experiencing in your reality wasn't true, which we can do that too. A lot of us self-gaslight, which I found out recently that even when we say, well, it could be worse, people have it harder, that's a self-gaslighting. Like what we go through and what we experience in our own lives is very much valid. Right or wrong, worse or bad, good, all that stuff is, like, honestly subjective. Like, yes, I'm appreciative that even with, you know, what I have going on, I'm appreciative that I still have what I have. However, I still acknowledge that I don't desire to limit myself to what I currently have, though. Because I know what more I can have for myself. So I don't have to gaslight myself into thinking that I just have to settle for whatever. Like, no. No. So in regards to not internalizing others' energy, no matter who you're around or what you experience, you have full control over how you go about things because you are only in control of your energy. You are. So no matter what other people got going on that's around you or however they might treat you or whatever the case may be, Growing up, I internalized all of that energy and I felt like there was always something wrong with me. I allowed the gaslighting to make me feel guilty for stuff that I didn't need to feel guilty for. And from what I read in my book, How to Do the Work, which I just finished, you have to show yourself compassion and grace. It's always, always normal to get that pushback. Your subconscious is so used to going about life a certain way or dealing with relationships a certain way that once you start to broaden your mind and you become consciously aware of yourself and other people from an, from an objective standpoint, it's totally normal to get that pushback from your own subconscious. It's normal to feel like you're crazy one minute. It's normal to have up and down emotions. It's normal to be like, well, I want to, you know, do this, but I know that I can't. Like, it's normal to want to go back to old patterns. But show yourself compassion and grace for choosing to not do it, no matter how much guilt may come up or fear or doubt. The fact that you are putting in the effort to not allow it to get you back to patterns that you don't desire to be in with yourself and other people, you got to commend yourself for that. So we're not doing that anymore. We're not internalizing others' energy. And when we do catch ourselves doing that, which is perfectly normal, we can always go back to our true selves. Our true self doesn't go anywhere. It's always consciousness, who we are, is like always here no matter what. And lastly, I have confidence and courage to achieve anything. And that's what the theme of this weekend was. Like, I kid you guys not, Friday was, 
Friday subjectively was undesirable. Friday objectively happened how it was supposed to happen. Although us as dancers can't control like what happens in the club. I am very self-aware though to where it's like, okay, although I had a slow night, where do I hold myself accountable in the slow night? Yes, I want to talk to people, but then I talk to other people that could potentially have given me some money though to add on to whatever I got. Or did I just psych myself out? Or did I allow too many no's to affect me to asking more people and then I just left early? Self-accountability in its entire entirety. So that's what this weekend was for me. And then when I came to the club last night, I told myself I have the confidence and the courage to go up to whoever. And that's when I figured out that if I just, <laughs> if I state something a certain way, I just have to go about the club differently. Any club you go to, once you learn the clientele, then you learn how to adjust to different people. So for me, I figured out that because my brain thinks that I am protecting myself from rejection or protecting myself from people telling me, oh, I'm just chilling right now, which for some reason makes my shadow self triggered for some reason, which I know why within here, but I'm gonna keep that between me and my spirit. <laughs> I realized that if I just go ahead and state first, Hey, are you guys just chilling right now? That cancels all of that. I feel like I'm in control <laughs> when I say that. And it works. It works last night when I was going by couples and stuff like that, you know. It's like I feel like I'm in control. I feel like I'm in power. And you say you're just chilling because I actually was just chilling. You said yes or no. Da -da -da -da. Okay, on to the next. So I just felt more empowered. And I really think that's a big thing. Like, no, as dancers, we can't control what happens in the club. However, I do also acknowledge, we're not going to self-gaslight, also acknowledge that we're not dancing nude for these guys for the fun of it. Like, yes, it's a fun job and a fun industry and money comes so easily. Of course, but we're still not doing this for fun. We're doing this for goals. We're doing this to achieve things. I'm doing this to buy myself a car. <laughs> And to see more of my money, because I'm so tired of just throwing thousands of dollars out. This month, January, makes two years of me dancing, which is insane. <laughs> it's like every year is just something. Like my first year, I was first year dancing, learning the ropes, worth and value. Second year dancing, figuring out which part of the country I desire to dance in, learning about that. Growing more confidence and everything else that you guys watched if you watched my stripper vlogs over the past year. Now we're in the new season, okay, getting into our second year of dancing. A car. We're doing more within our um, talents and our creativity and receiving financial abundance through other forms within our talents and creativity. Creating content on YouTube that we desire to put out and watch within ourselves and stuff like that. So it's just a bunch of shifts during the second year of me dancing and whatever year this is of me on YouTube and things of that nature. Now, let's get into what the did Courtney by now. I received some packages. I'm still waiting on one more from Amazon, which you guys will see when it gets here. So first, I have this journal it's so pretty, right? This is for my dreams. I'm finally, finally, finally going to commit myself to actually writing down my dreams because I have very interesting dreams. They have a whole bunch that are like this too. It's so pretty. It comes with this little thing right here. I love the gold. It's like celestial, you know. I got Peppa some new dog food. I found this small breed adult. Small breed adult dog, grain free healthy. I like to get her grain free food. Holistic wild salmon and white fish recipes. This is Halo. So I'm gonna give this to her, give her something different, see how she likes it. Peppa's not really picky, it's just her diet has changed. I got my foot bath as well. So you do have to plug it in to the wall. 
Do not use it without water. Duh. It does come with a pumic, pumic stone and massager for the feet. This is supposed to be motorized too. I kid you guys not, it took me two days to try to figure out which foot bath I wanted because there's so many options. But it's like I don't want to spend over 40 bucks for something that doesn't have its own motorized thing. And then I don't want to spend something less than that. And it's not giving, you know. It has to be a balance. So we're going to see how this works. This is how it looks on the inside. I forgot the name of this, honestly. Actually, no. Here's the name. You guys can screenshot if you want to find it on Amazon. Happy Monday, you guys. I'm at the studio craving something salty. A1 is closed. Couldn't buy chips from them today. I really didn't do anything today but get my laser and go to the bank. And now we're doing round two of Kirsten's choreography. So I'm like, sorry, Ted. And we just finished stretching. So now we're about to put on our shoes. And that she's talented and that she's that girl. Yes? yes. Period. Period. As you should. 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 As Kirsten said that I was on time and I grew. Yay. So follow me on Instagram when the video does come up. I'm so proud of me. This week overall was very smooth. Second day of 2023. And all is well and well is amazing. So if you stayed to the end, thank you so much for watching my vlog. Happy 2023 to all of you. I believe in magic. So it's not a magical freaking year. Magical life. Just everything magical.